something very exciting has happened to my mum this morning. Do you want to come and tell them? The sun's out, Shay Richie's here. It's going to be a good day today, guys. <laughs> It's a lot harder with four people. Come on, Chuckles. What an evening we have just had. The dirt in the background's lovely. <laughs> what a nice background we have here today. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. First thing, apologies for my voice, I'm not very well, so my mum is gonna be taking over the majority of this vlog. <laughs> it's not COVID. I wasn't feeling very well a couple of days ago um, when I got my jab, so we're thinking it's that, and then maybe the dampness of a good old-fashioned Pontin Chalet is just, added <laughs> to the illness but yeah so i'm not feeling great we've been here since monday and it's now thursday and we've only now just picked up the camera to vlog the weather's been shocking hasn't it uh, yeah sorry it's now miles away <laughs> she's too busy typing something on facebook because there's something that um we want to do today that is like the number one thing everybody does when they're here at pontins and you guys said on um instagram that you wanted me to view a holiday at Pontins, like a guest at Pontins rather than a staff member. So we're doing the number one thing that everybody does when they come to Pontins and it's get on one of those little cart things. But we've realised that I'm useless and I I don't know anything. Blue coat of the year, shocking, doesn't even know where to go to hire a bike. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to do, so mum's asked Facebook. <laughs> but I didn't work on the leisure centre. How was I supposed to know yeah, that? You're supposed to know these things so that when guests come and ask the blues, you're supposed you to You send them everything. to reception and you send them <laughs> to the leisure zone Actually, to ask. You send them to reception. I'm sure you need some sort of token or something. I wouldn't mind, but she was asking me this morning. <laughs> That's one of the things that we're doing today. And we're hopefully going to be Kaylee's Uber <laughs> and drive her into work. However, something very exciting has happened to my mum this morning. Do you want to come and tell them? So, I went over to uh, Kaylee's chalet this morning to borrow a tray and some foil because we wanted bacon sandwiches and she said, oh by the way, Mr Shane Ritchie's on park. So I said, oh, I'll just go and see if I can bump into him whilst I go to the shop. As a joke. No such luck. So I got my tray and I'm walking back to my car and there's this chap all in black with a black cap on and he's trying the handle of a chalet. <laughs> and I'm like, that's a bit dodgy. And I kind of, you know like you all do in this day and age, put my head down a little bit. And he said, excuse me, do you work here? And I looked up and just went, hello, Shane. <laughs> and just had the loveliest conversation. Um, I mean, to be fair, I am an ex-blue, so we were reminiscing about blue coats in the 80s and donkey derbies and <laughs> boating lakes. And he's informed me that apparently your skate park and your tennis court used to be the outside swimming pool. So mm. I didn't know that. But um, what said a, it was lovely, didn't you? What a lovely man. He even said to me, have we met before? We literally just chatted like old friends. She came it back was, to the chalet buzzing. Yeah, didn't even think to get a picture with him. But yeah, what a lovely man. She had a great morning this morning. That was like the highlight of her day. And now she's 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 good. The sun's out. Shay Richie's here. It's going to be a good day today, guys. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan today is to go out and find one of those little red... You know the ones I mean, the little pedal cart things. I might have a reply now. Oh. You go to the leisure zone where the snooker and pool tables are and the inflatables outside the token machine is there too. Token machine, I told you! Hello, See? Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee's on the phone now. Are we two planning on going on a bike? She can't <laughs> imagine you and I on a pedal bike. Well, get ready. Get ready. <laughs> what time are you going into work? Oh, you might have an Uber. Yeah, it's no, it was uh, Captain Crocs. Snappy cabs <laughs> <laughs> Right, we better go though, because we're going to go and pick Kaylee up and take her into work. <laughs> it's actually the first day that they're celebrating Halloween down here today, so they're all dressed up in their Halloween costumes. And hopefully we'll get some nice Halloween content for you all. And it's the first night 
that they're performing their Halloween show today, so we're very excited about that. But first, we're getting on a pedal bike. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to go quickly so we can pick Kaylee up for work. Are you ready? And Lil. And ready. Lil. Ready. <laughs> oh, I nearly fell over. All right. There's not much um, activity going on around here, so I no, hope they're not closed because we want to fill our um, Pontin's guest dream of being on a cart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, you get them from in here, apparently. Oh, they're closed. <laughs> What's the chance of them? Oh, we can see them and everything. Just want look, look, look. Can we have a bike, please? <laughs> All that effort you and knew. all the laughs we had last night planning our day for you guys. And we can't even get on one. We could go to our reception and see if they're closed for lunch. Half, Half past, past one. one. Is that usually a lunchtime closure? Maybe, could be. We can't tell how much they are, but it looks like it doesn't matter anyway because you can't get on one. It's so sad. You're asking Facebook again. Yeah. <laughs> are you actually? Yep. Should we go swimming instead? No. Nope. <laughs> so, slight change of plans. We've seen some of the team and they're heading in to get their photos taken with the croc crew. So we thought that whilst we're waiting around to see if we can get a go-kart, we're gonna go and get our pictures done too. <laughs> but they'll be in their Halloween attire, which is cute. You ready? I am indeed. Let's go. All right, we thought that on the way in, we'll show you all the little facilities because somebody asked on my Instagram for me to do that, so. Here we go. Oh, thank you ever so much. Feels weird being able to look at what arcade machines we've got in here. We've got the reception to your left. And then the Queen Vic, this is where you can eat all your foods and have your drink. Restaurants in that half. And then the bars up in that half. Should we have a little nose? Let's do it. Let's have a nose, see if anybody's in here. It's so quiet on park today, but it is a Thursday, so Thursdays are always quieter. So everyone chooses to go home on a Thursday rather than a Friday. This is where you have your this is, of an evening. Yeah, this has been all done up and fancy since I was last here, oh, which is nice. Painted, isn't it? Has. And then the, you've got a little extra bar area that's, here. Oh, well, that's for the um, that's stage nice area. The flashing lights were. Ah, so they must have changed it from karaoke from here to over here then, in that case. Must be. And then you've got the restaurant area in here. We'll just go straight back out again, but. Very quiet, but decent. Then you come back out into the arcade again. Oh, do we want a grabby toy? Look at the, oh, the cookie monster. Baby Yoda. Oh my God, yeah. Mickey and Minnie are meant to be cute. What on earth? And then you have the fun factory through here. He That's usually had a soul. <laughs> Thanks, pal. And Fun Factory's in here, which is all your daytime entertainment. Let's go and have a look. What we've got going on. <laughs> but they're like, oh, she's back again. <laughs> There's Connor over there in the background. <laughs> and Dave. <laughs> so we came in over through over there. But then up this end is where all your evening and daytime entertainment that's yeah meet the blue coat board and this is your evening entertainment and then your daytime entertainment boards you can just take pictures of these and then you know exactly what's going on throughout the entire week and you got your bar up here and then you've got a little food area up here but this bit i haven't seen the last time it was open to be fair it's been closed for quite a while it's, used to, it's called whistle stop used to be able to get hot dogs and burgers and stuff it's very good i loved it and then your bar and then the beautiful stage in which Dave has his beautiful lights. They're getting ready for the Halloween show. How exciting! We're ready to see the crop food. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's having a great time here today at Halloween. <laughs> Kaylee's dress is Annabelle if you haven't clocked that one. Alright then boys and girls, so it is time to do your paparazzi session with the cock crew. But first of all we need our host for this afternoon, so let's welcome to the stage is Blue Bird Connor! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
okay? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say hi, Chuckles! Hi, Chuckles! Yeah, Chuckles, you've got the converse caught in your feet. Look at that! <laughs> Everyone say hi, Captain Crop! Oh, Captain Crop, you as well! Oh, you're the converse! See you later, mate. Chuckles, like you can do. Come on, Chuckles! Come on! <laughs> We had our picture taken with Chuckles the monkey and the rest, but Chuckles is my favourite. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? And we've managed to, well, we have a good friend of ours has managed to pull a few strings, so we are <laughs> on our way to get one of the red cars. And we're very excited, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we just so We hope he's there when we get there so we can steal one. And then instead of dropping Kaylee and the team at work, we're going to pick them up. What do you mean, and the team? We're not doing trips. Oh, um, guys, <laughs> we gonna, did it. This is gonna, come, yeah, come on. All right, I need to pedal too. Right, yeah, you need we've to got a four on. seater. Oh, so that means we stick them on. Ah, oh, they ride on the they front. Ride on How the are we front. supposed to see where we're going if they're sitting in the front? Well, they can direct us. Wee! <laughs> I haven't done this since the 1970s, probably. This is, this is the one thing oh, that my seat's moving as I go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Right, we'll have to, we'll have to go backwards. We can go that way. It doesn't reverse. Guys, this isn't going well. <laughs> what do we do? This is the way to get about pond hills. It is. This is the one thing that everybody does it's when they're a guest, hard. I swear. Well, it? It's, not, it's quite good. We just wave. Oh my God, we're going to go down a hill now, though. <laughs> I thought we were going to go that way. Have, oh, we don't have brakes, do we? Oh, no, oh, you start turning. That. That's the brake. <laughs> brake's here. Right. Oh, we found the brake. There's a brake. Yeah. <laughs> I've got these. Um, She's having way too much fun. <laughs> we have uh, go karts, trampolines, Look. gyros. What's gyroscope? It's at home. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Crazy golf down there. Trampolines. Gosh, having a great time. We are, aren't it's we? Very, it's very chilled and mellow. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I'm not even pedaling anymore. I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. But we turn. Oh my turn. god. <gasps> That was like really scary. <laughs> um, left or right? Left. Should we oh no, we want to go in that car park. That's what we want to do. Oh, oh, we could do some wheel spins. Oh, we could do there. some donuts. <laughs> See, Pontins is good for adults too. Mum's decided she wanted to vlog. I'm now the driver. <laughs> God help us both. I am actually starting to think this is a really bad idea though, because you know, have you seen her driving? She wanted to show you how close we are to the theme park. Yes. So we've found ourselves in car park too. Do we not have Ready to? Ready, break. And then turn it around. Turn it around. This is where we are in car park two. And there's the roller coaster at Breen Leisure. We swapped over again. She doesn't trust my driving anymore. We want to thank the lovely gentleman that picked us up our little, what are they called? Dino carts? Yes. Dino carts. The gentleman that arranged it and the gentleman yes. that sat and waited for us. Yes. Massive thank you to those guys. You know who you are if you're watching, and I believe both of them watch, so you know who you are. Thank you very much. It has literally made our day today. Yeah, we're <laughs> not totally enjoying ourselves. It's sad no. but true. So, we're going to go and pick up Kaylee, but they're doing a full run through now of, so, Halloween show. of the Halloween show. So, we're trying to just kind of wheel around <laughs> <laughs> until they finish, but. We might not get to, but we are going to show you sort of all the Halloween stuff that they do tonight. They've got the Halloween Croc Crew show on, which is cute. First performance of Marry the Night for all the blues tonight. Yes, it is the same show as last year, but with a few little tweaks. But um, I don't know if I... I tried to film it earlier, but they were kind of going over some of the lighting and the sounds. But they're using the same backing tracks as last year. So I'm in the background of quite a few of the songs, Yay! which is quite funny. Um, but it's, it's also quite sad and emotional at the same time, but it's nice, I'm still, it's like I'm still involved. For like some, I'm still yeah, in it. someone who was a little bit intrepid about coming back, you're actually quite enjoying yourself, I aren't know. you? Also, if you want information on how you actually get one of these carts, because this fabulous blue finally, now she's left, actually knows how to I actually know how you do it. Um, so they actually mentioned something about pre-booking it, um, didn't they, when we picked it up? Did he? Yeah, he said something about be like book on the booking list and booking it or whatever. So I would, if you definitely don't want to miss out on it, maybe 
maybe ring up or maybe mention it as soon as you check in on the day um, if you're not overly worried about it then don't worry but you can go down to the leisure center and they've got the tokens there and it's one pound equals one token um, we didn't actually find out the price of these did we no we didn't no um, it didn't say but there is a price list on there of all the other things okay. but yeah if you just if you want to grab one of these which most people do when they come here just head down to the leisure center or ask at reception you need to grab tokens in order to pay for them but it's one pound equals one token and then you should be all good but yeah definitely speak to reception as soon as you check in or even ring up before you come just to be on the safe side if you really really don't want to miss it i was just going to show them the avery and the crocs mini cart she, she's loving this she's and a natural vlogger yesterday <laughs> you can see it they've infl deflated it they had a bouncy car yeah they yesterday. did they usually have all the inflatables oh, over here and there's the crazy golf that you didn't realize they had well no i realized they had crazy golf i just didn't know how you did it well, yeah. the, there's two boys playing all table tennis over there. From the leisure zone. Yep, table tennis. There's pool and pool tables as well, isn't there? Mini go karts. There's loads of stuff. You just have to have to go and see it. Because yeah. obviously I hadn't opened my eyes to the rest of the park until now. We've just found ourselves down by our lovely second, our lovely second, the lovely second venue, Lunas. And we thought we'd just show you the other half of the park. We've done full circle now. Several times, Absolutely done full circle now. We're just going to show you everything else. We have the skate park and lots of chalets. Skate park is very loud late at night, especially when you live close by. Come on then, let's go tennis for a pedal. Court over the other side. Yeah, tennis court and the, oh, there's a basketball hoop over there yeah. as well. Just needs a bit of weeding. And then there's some staff members. Yeah, this is the second venue that is used for events sometimes and in a case of, you know, the air duct falling down and, you know, things like that, <laughs> which is Luna's. And then you've got the little play area as well, which has got a play area for really tiny ones. And then it's got a play area for some older ones, which is round the other side. I can't remember what that's called now. Cupped in Crocs, Adventure there they are. Oh my goodness, just round there. And then we've got the fish and chips. Which I've never actually eaten from. Have you eaten from the fish and chips? I chip have shop? actually. Was it nice? Um, I don't think it was too too shabby actually. No, but it's had, I know it's had a lot of different owners, isn't it? Because it's not. We don't really understand the opening times when we were here. So we used to go over the road. There's a fish and chip shop over the road as well, which we used to go to. But I think we went to that one because this one was closed. But it's been open a lot more recently. Um, but yeah, I've heard good things. So I don't know if it's what it's like. But you've got a little play area over there as well, outdoor climbing frame and stuff for the little ones that's the queen vic there and then you got the nisa shop and another little a younger play area that's where our outdoor stage used to be when we had it during covid and then that's the main center which you go through through there and that's the front of the park and that's the other side of the park that we've not yet visited we managed to wheel ourselves around and there's lots of stuff over the other side. You've got the place, which is a restaurant the other side. Obviously, you can eat on site, but there's another one there. You've got a bakery. The bakery, oh my gosh. There's a quick bike calf. Um, There's a Londis over there. A little gift store over there. There's loads. Right, should we go and pick up Kaylee? Yeah, we're going to pick up Kaylee. And anyone else that bags is one of the seats. <laughs> Let's go. We've picked up no, our fellow campers, or two of. <laughs> And it's a lot harder with four people. I can feel the lactose now. <laughs> Here we go. Are you enjoying your service? Yeah. 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 And uh, how Lovely. would you rate um, Captain Croc's happy, snappy, crappy cab service? 11 out of 10. How many? 11 out of 10. Oh my goodness. God, put that on TripAdvisor. <laughs> and break. And you have arrived at your destination. <laughs> You're welcome. Our journey on our little dino carts come to an end, guys. We're now on feet. We um, dropped Kay um, back to her chalet, but she was in kind of a rush. We've just done the whole run through and she's got to obviously eat and get ready for the evening and stuff. And so do we. Not that we have costumes, but I think the fact that I've forgotten all of my makeup will do me for Halloween. So yeah, we're gonna now go home, get fed and ready for the evening. And we're gonna show you all of the, the evening entertainment, Halloween entertainment, and you'll see much more footage of the Blues and the rest of the team and stuff there. That's it. Right. Right. We have just two minutes left on those bingo ticket sales. One and five, the number 15.
Right. And here we have the lovely Shannon playing her first ever on game. On its own, the number five. Bingo! <laughs> Sorry. Mom. On its own, the number seven. We didn't Most win bingo, guys. did we? <laughs> She's so sad.
my god guys what an evening we have just had my mum's currently not with me because she is sat having a little drink with the cabaret that we had on today um i can't quite remember their name and i don't want to get it wrong but i will leave some information in the description below because they were just insane i'm going back to the chalet to get redressed because we just did a, a massive mega boogie that i didn't include in the vlog um and i'm sweating it's been a long time since i've joined in with a a boogie with the blues that's been that intense so um yeah that was pretty crazy i'm gonna fill you in properly and finish the vlog tomorrow morning just because it'll be easier and it'll make more sense because i'm probably just gonna blab on right now but we've had such a good night the guys absolutely smashed their halloween show like i'm so proud of them um and they looked like they were literally loving their lives so proud of my sister as well yeah it was just such a good evening um and now i'm going home to get changed and i'm going to go around and see the rest of the team as well so yeah nice way to finish off the last night we go home tomorrow but i'm not gonna lie it has been so so good i've missed it so much like i've not even realized i've missed it so much until now <laughs> um but yeah had such a good night filled with so much stuff um but i'll tell you a little bit more about it tomorrow morning when we leave but yeah it's been so nice <laughs> hello everybody so it's been a hot minute um it's actually a couple of days later now um and i was just editing this video and realizing that i never ended the vlog properly apologies for the state of me i haven't long got out of the shower but i was like quick i need to end the vlog because i completely forgot to do that i'm very very sorry um so we had such a great time down at pontins um revisiting reminiscing and everything um, it was really good, but obviously, especially the last day that we were filming, um, that Thursday, the whole day was actually really good. The evening entertainment that night was spot on. Um, we played bingo, we lost bingo. Classic. <laughs> the Halloween Croc Cruise show was as good as always. Uh, and then after that, we watched a group called, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, so please correct me if I pronounce this wrong, um, Troubadour or Troubadour or Troubadour, it could be Trebador. Couldn't tell you. I can't it's spelled T R O U Bador. I believe. I still could be wrong. So if I am wrong or you would like to correct me, let me know in the comments. Please correct me so I know for future references. Either way, they were so so good um they obviously got my mum involved which you all saw which was the highlight of her day i think even over shane ritchie guys i'm not even gonna lie to you um but they were incredible they had the talent they had the voices they had the comedy it was just really really good so 100 percent recommend looking out for those guys i'll try and find some of their information and put it in the description if i can um but yeah they pretty much made the evening for us which was really good they're just genuinely lovely people as well and then that was closely followed by the Halloween show that the guys did. And I'm super proud of them. They absolutely smashed it for a first show as well. That was that was pretty impressive. So they should be very, very proud of themselves. They've done it quite a few more times now. But if um, you are going down for Halloween, make sure you see it because they worked so hard on it. And it's, it's a killer of a show. But yeah, all in all, it was just a really, really good time. I was nervous, like my mum said, nervous to go back because um, I wasn't too sure how I was going to feel. But yeah really good i'm also starting to feel a lot better now as well but yeah anyway if you've made it this far i love you loads thank you so much for watching remember to like and subscribe and give me a message down in the comments below i'd love to have a chat with you and i will see you in my next video thank you very much for watching bye